you are provided with solid A, carry out the following test and write your observations and inferences in the spaces provided. Place all of solid E in a pouring tube, add about 10 centimeters cube of distilled water and shake thoroughly. Filter the mixture into another pouring tube. Retain the filtrate for use in test 2B below. Dry the residue using pieces of filter papers. Transfer about a half of the dry residue into the dry test tube. Heat the residue strongly and test the gases produced using a burning sprint. A careless gas that extinguishes a burning sprint. A white residue changes to yellow when hot and white on cooling. So a careless gas which extinguishes a burning sprint, we know that's carbon four oxide. So if it is carbon four oxide, then what is present is the CO three two minus present. And then there's white there is a white solid changes to yellow when hot and white when cool. The only thing the only uh, solid that behaves like this it is a zinc oxide. Zinc oxide when you burn uh, before you burn it when it's cold it is white. Once you burn it it changes to yellow. After on cooling it changes back to white. So this is zinc carbonate, uh, zinc oxide. So if it is, you don't write zinc oxide here. We are talking about cations and anions. Therefore, it means it is zinc two ions that are present. Zinc two ions are present because it is a zinc oxide. Therefore, we are interested with the ions of zinc. Place the rest of the residue in a dry test tube. Add four centimeters cube of two more hydrochloric acid. I, 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 as I've always told you, if whenever you are adding acid into a test tube containing a solid, one thing you expect is a vivacence. So it is either vivacence will occur, a vivacence will not occur, either it occurs or not. The first thing you need to know. Therefore, when the acid was added, the solid dissolves, forming, producing a vivacence. Right, so uh, if a vivacence is produced, then it confirms that also that is your three to minus that is present, meaning that a carbonate, hydrogen carbonate, could be present. So we are not going to introduce hydrogen carbonate here, no. So it is the carbonate that is present for the first observation. Then form a colorless solution. A colorless solution is formed. If we want to write the inference for this, then it means the Carad ions are absent. The carad ions are absent, therefore, it forms a colorless solution. Two, two centimeters of solution obtained in Roman two above. Add six centimeters cube of aqueous ammonia dropwise until in excess. So it is true that whenever you add a ammonia solution, a white precipitate is formed soluble in excess, which dissolve in excess. Then it is always confirmed, it is a confirmation that the zinc is confirmed because we said it is present now. We can write here con. Found. or you can let present there's no problem so because our ammonia is actually used to test for to confirm zinc two ions to the second to two of the filtrates remember now we were using the solution from the the, the reaction of the of the of the solid the residue with the acid now there is a solution we had the filtrate of the solid the, the residue to the second portion of the filtrate obtained in A above add about three centimeters cube of aqueous ammonia in excess a white precipitate is formed insoluble which does not insolve insoluble in excess so if it, it, it is insoluble in excess then what is present is magnesium 
two positive we can have aluminium we can have uh, lead are present so the second portion of the filtrate add two centimeters of two more hydrochloric acid so there is no white ppt no evanescence we expect hcl the chloride ions inside here to form a white precipitate with lead with lead now that there is no white precipitate it means that lead is absent so if lead is absent then what is present it is magnesium and aluminium present if there is no evanescence it means a carbonate hydrogen carbonate uh, the sulfide is absent absent to about 2 cm of cube of the filtrate obtained in here above add a coya sodium hydroxide drop wise until in excess a white ppt in soluble in excess so in soluble in excess remember aluminium will not if it is soluble in excess therefore it means aluminium was absent so then what is present is magnesium to positive present to the to two of the filtrate add one or two drops of barium nitrate a white ppt is formed so barium nitrate barium will form a white precipitate with the sulfate with the carbonate and the sulfite but from our previous roman 2 here roman 2 we said the carbonate with the sulfite are absent so there's no way again we are going to include this and this because we said it is absent so out of these three we are not going to include this then it means the sulfate is present You have provided solid EFG, carry out the test bureau and write your observations and inferences in the spaces provided. Place all solid E in a boiling tube. Add 20 cm cube of distilled water and shake until all the solid dissolves. Label the solution E. To the first portion, that is about 2 cm cube of cube of solution E, in a test tube, add 4 drops of 2 more sulfuric acid. So if we are adding sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid contains the sulfate, right? So we expect if the sulfate gets into a solution containing barium, containing lead, containing um, calcium, it will form a white precipitate. So if a white precipitate is formed, then inside that solution, there must be barium, uh, calcium, and lead. So here we expect to contain barium calcium and lead because barium sulfate is a white precipitate calcium sulfate is a white precipitate lead sulfate is a white precipitate from where Solub solubility of salts form two we say all of sulfates are soluble except barium sulfate calcium sulfate lead sulfate that is the chemistry that is used here To, the, to about 2 cm cube of solution E in a test tube, add 2 more sodium hydroxide drop wise and it in excess. A white precipitate soluble in excess. Very good. Now here, we know that if we are adding the reagent sodium hydroxide, then a white precipitate is formed soluble in excess. We know ZAP is present. ZAP stands for zinc ions, aluminium ions, and lead ions that is very true but now a student who crams things without understanding will now here write 
zinc, two ions, aluminium, three ions, and lead, two ions, present. Are you seeing that? This was present. We write present. But without remembering, looking at Roman 1, in Roman 1 we said what was present, it is a barium, calcium, and lead. So it means here, although we know that sodium hydroxide is used to test for the ZAP, these three, from our number one, this and this was absent, was not there. So it is only this that is going to be present. So a student who writes this and this and this present will score zero because that is a contradiction. So this is led to positive present. Plus one a half of the solid F in a test tube, add two centimeters cube of uh, distilled water, shake well. Add four drops of this solution into about two centimeters of solution E. Test. So a white precipitate is formed. So we are adding a sol solution of E, of F, into E. And then a white PPT is formed. It means that. Of course, we have said that E contains lead ions. We, from there, we can see. So if we are adding F and a white precipitate is formed, now we look for the anions that forms a white precipitate with lead. Are you getting that? So it means, if I can explain here, we have said that E actually contains lead to ions. We are adding F to E and a white PPT is formed. So if F... If E is lead, two ions, contains lead, two ions, we are adding F, a white PPT is formed. It means F contains anions that forms a white precipitate with lead. And what are those? It is the sulfate, the sulfite, the carbonate, the chloride, even the bromide. Are present. So F could contain are present in F. So F could contain any of this, which forms a white precipitate with solution E. And our E contains lead ions. Right?